All right, how are we doing, everybody? This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur, broadcasting live here on this Friday night, August 5th, almost 9 o'clock here on the East Coast. Uh, just ready to have a good old time playing some Mario Kart 8, a game that I have, of course, streamed many, many times. In fact, it's between this and Rocket League and... Uh, what's the other one? This Rocket League. At one time, I would have said Dead Cells, but it's been a long time since I've streamed some Dead Cells. I'd like to get Dead Cells back in the lineup, but as it is right now, we got Mario Kart 8. Here we go. Let's go. The tremendous and awesome Bobby. Let's go. The tremendous and awesome Randy joining us tonight as well. I appreciate that. And it is a night stream, so there's going to be some, some dark but pretty colors here tonight. I'm looking forward to this one. There are um, some new courses to check out tonight, which is also the main reason I decided to queue this up. But um, look forward to hearing from all of you. Look forward to talking to you throughout the night as we go ahead and binge ourselves a little bit of this Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And um, when I say there are new courses, there are eight new courses that have been added to the game. The second wave of DLC that Nintendo will be releasing throughout this year and next year. Uh, I showed off the first wave a few months ago when it came out, and it was pretty good. A couple of the courses were nothing great. Uh, this new wave, I'm happy to say, is really good. And we're going to see it mixed into the usual roster of tracks, which is another thing I'm very happy about. Uh, no, not NASCAR. I mean, there, there will be some cars to be raced, but not NASCAR. No, we're looking at Mario Kart here tonight. And there are some new courses to check out, so hopefully we're going to see them. I've already played them all a couple times myself just to try them out. But um, it's always something else when you're playing against live opposition. Some really good Mario Kart players out there. We've seen that before. Every time I play the game, it seems like I'm in, like, 10th place. But, um, again, part of that is luck, I will admit. But, no, I've been looking forward to this stream for a little bit. I'm glad that the new courses are available to play online because that was the first thing I noticed about the first wave is that it took like about a week or so for them to be in the rotation. You can only play them in single player, but now I can play them in multiplayer. Right now, actually, I'm going to go ahead and select one of my favorites, which is the Sky High Sunday level. And it's funny because whenever these new courses come up to be voted for, it seems like almost everybody votes for them. Sky High Sunday is actually the first all-new track uh, from Mario Kart 8 in quite some time. The other ones being kind of remasters. Uh, actually, I think uh, Ninja Hideaway might have been in the original as well. But still cool that Nintendo is continuing to support this. Um, I personally really like this course. It is a little bit similar to the, I think it's like Sweet Sweet Mountain or something. It's a little bit similar to that. But 
it did, I don't know, you'll see it. Assuming it gets voted on, that's the other frustrating thing is I have not had the best luck on this. So we got a decent chance of seeing it. Okay, a very decent chance of seeing it. 9 out of 12 people, 9 out of 12 people agree that this is a very good course. But let's see what ends up getting played might differ. All right, yes, here we go. Sky High Sunday. So we're kicking it off right now, right here. Uh, probably my second favorite of the new tracks. My favorite still probably has to be Waluigi Pinball, which was a Nintendo DS track originally. But this, this level just looks fantastic. I love the kind of ice cream shop vibe you get here in this beginning. But yeah, no, it, it's really great. All the courses, I gotta say, regardless of how much I like them, they really did a great job with the graphics on them. But now we're gonna get in here and see if I still, still have as much good stuff to say. Uh, once we get down to the actual racing of it. I mean, this seems like something you'd play like on an arcade on a really big screen, you know, really bright colors in your face. Lots of fun to be had here. Jumping off these, like, wafers and things. I don't know why I just wasted that, but I did. Whatever. How you doing, Randy? You watching uh, SmackDown tonight? See, I, I know my clientele generally. Hard to time the jumps on this course. Oh, that was a banana peel. That was not very appealing at all. I just realized with the chaos cam and everything, like, my reactions are probably, like, something's probably not syncing up because the gameplay is usually, like, a couple seconds behind in the stream. I don't know if my webcam is behind as well because I might be, like, reacting to stuff that you don't see yet. Like, you might see me be like, oh, no, but, like, it already happened or it hasn't happened yet. Well, that, that might lead to some confusion for the viewers. Uh, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, right? There we go. Yeah, I guess we're going to get our just desserts on this particular course. I'm an alright player. I did have second place there. Now I'm slipping to fifth. Make that sixth. Make that fifth. Ah, all right. it's really what I needed now. Okay, I'm almost to the end of this course, but I have not really given myself enough. Oh, come on. Jeez, oh, I did everything I could to get into a better position there, but it's kind of hard when I got two bullet bills going around me. There's really no other way around them. There. Ah, oh, we lost Randy already. He didn't even get to see that epic race. Ah, oh, it's all good. I can only hear the sounds of my laughter and what laughter it was. Ah, oh, that's the stuff right there. This would be the whole screen right here, just me in darkness. All right, what do we got? Snowland. And yes, I will be picking the new courses every time they appear in the rotation. In the event that there isn't a new course in there, I'll pick a Wave 1 DLC course. Chances are there's going to be something, right? Ah, oh, Still early. That was just the first race, just a little warm-up. A warm-up on a very icy course as it was. I actually finished 4th out of 12, too, which isn't too bad. I actually feel like I kind of earned that one. All right, got a couple votes for Yoshi's Island, a few votes for random, so we got some uh, got some options here. Yes, all right, another new course. So we're getting right down to it right now. Um, I guess you got to get to this stream early if you want to see what's going on. And we do have some really great streams coming up, by the way. Not to not to bury the lead here tonight because this is obviously one that I'm looking forward to. But um, we got Retromania 49. That's the big one coming up on Wednesday. Um, now I don't want to announce another one just yet, but let's just say Sunday could be another exciting one. And of course, you never know what could happen on any given day here. So as always, I thank everybody for joining the chaos. We are racing here on Snowlands from the uh, Game Boy Advance release, Super Circuit, which was actually a pretty good Mario Kart game, although definitely prefer these remastered tracks. I just really like the music and kind of the Christmas appeal here. 
Um, I do wonder if they'll release like a Christmas type of level because um, if I had to guess, and I don't know when all these waves are going to come out, but I'm pretty sure they're going to try to release one more wave maybe in December of this year since there's supposedly six of them coming all the way to uh, the end of 2023. So hopefully, maybe, we'll see one more before the end of 2022 and it'll be there'll be like a Christmas track or something. That'll be pretty fun to see. But if there's not, you know, this, this kind of does the job, but it's also a really nice aesthetic. It's not the most creative course. It's just kind of a few little roundabouts, but I think the, the aesthetic makes up for it as well as the fact that the road is actually a little bit slippery. It's got that ice kind of stuff going on there. In some cases, literal ice, like right here. Got the penguins to worry about. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of this course, but I'm not very good at it. That's also a credit to my opponents. As it does, it does seem like past few times I played this online, especially, I'm just not, I just do not have it. Right, well, we made up a little bit of ground there. And maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. Ouch. I really got burned on that deal. Oh, another bullet bill, man. Got to be very, very aggressive getting items. I see another bullet bill, by the way. Don't think I don't see it. I just don't know what to really do about it other than get out of the way. Meantime, I get, what, this? I mean, all right. Well, there is a little shortcut you can take there. That kind of helped out a little bit. Um, what's that, seventh? All right. Nothing great there. There's a seventh place. What are you going to do? Not much you can do there, right? Shame. Shame, shame. I know your name. Hey, oh. Yeah, I'm sure we got some Mario Kart fans in the stands here. This game's been like... I don't even know. Okay. Oh, there are no new courses here. I'm going to do random then in protest. I do like Big Blue, though, so I won't be too upset if that wins, but... Obviously, we're here for the new courses, and like I said, if there aren't new courses, maybe Wave 1 courses, or my favorite track still in the game, Excite Bike Arena. But I'm just rambling right now. How y'all doing? This is Bobby Gates, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight. Um, just a Friday night Mario Kart party. Mario Party? No. Mario Kart Party. Mario Kart 8, like I said, I feel like this game sold like 100-something million units between this and... The original Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, if anyone remembers that, this game has surpassed two different constant generations at this point. So, we got a pretty pretty heavily favored board toward Big Blue, but we'll see what comes up here. It's Big Blue. Alright, I'll deal with that. I mean, you know, there wasn't a new course to be picked, unless random happened to be one, but... I don't know what I'm saying. I'm getting way too excited. I gotta pace myself. We're only, like, not even 15 minutes into the stream. And here we go, Big Blue. Let's get it done. Beep, 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 beep. The closest we'll get. Maybe they'll actually. That is a legitimate thing. Maybe they will do another like F Zero course as one of the new ones. I don't. I mean, it's pretty cool that they did these, like this one, and then I think there's like at least one Zelda one, and there's an Animal Crossing one. Those were all extra DLC. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, the original Mario Kart 8, yeah, because that's what it was. The original Mario Kart 8 for Wii U, like, released a lot of that as DLC for the Wii U version. And then, like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just had that as part of the base package. Then they added a little more DLC. I, I forget what they added. I think it was only, like, a couple courses. And now they're adding DLC to the DLC. It's just ridiculous how much they've tacked out of this game. How many years they've gotten out of Mario Kart 8 at this point. We're going on, like, eight years on this one game. Maybe that's the point. It's that it goes on for eight years. Actually, it might be nine years by now. I think it came out in 2013. Maybe 2014. I don't know. My point is, like... I mean, I guess on one hand, I understand it. You don't really need to do too much more to this game. It's pretty much the perfect Mario Kart game, and I hesitate to say that, but... Like, there really is not that much more that can be done to this game that, you know, hasn't been done to other Mario Kart games. They can even just tweak this one a little bit, like... As much as I would like to see a full-fledged Mario Kart 9, I'm not even sure what it would have that these other ones don't. But, um, again, I'm just rambling. Ultimately, I do want to see a Mario Kart 9. It probably won't happen until, like, 2030 at the rate they're going with this, but... 
funny thing is I could see them putting out a Mario Kart 9 and then like a year later putting out Mario Kart 10. It was just like what they did with Smash Brothers. How it took them so long to make 4 and then they made Ultimate and like, no, actually not 4. It was Brawl. It took them like 6 years to, or 7 years to make Brawl. And then like they made the next two in like 4 years each. Ugh, oh, wow. I don't know if it was just my talking or what, but I got smoked in that race. Look, looked like I had uh, somewhat of a shot, but damn. That's like the opposite. I actually had like a bit of a comeback the first race. That that one. We're moving on from that one, I don't know. We got Mute City, another slate of all old courses. So I'm going to go random here. It actually would be kind of interesting if everybody went random. I have a feeling they won't already. I see Mute City. We just did a freaking F-Zero one. I mean, I, I like the F-Zero tracks, but we don't need to always do them. There. Swamp Ruins. <laughs> Look at that, like, little manly freaking me avatar at the bottom there. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Oh, actually, it has pigtails. Maybe not as manly as I thought. Maybe it's just a really pudgy little girl. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is the great stuff you were missing without the Chaos Cam. Now you can see me as I make these random jokes. Here we go. This one's actually pretty even. Where are we going? Swamp Ruins. Not going to lie, I wouldn't have minded seeing a random one just to see what we got. Where am I at right now? I'm at 37.59 in terms of uh, skill points or whatever it is. Whatever you call those things. Wee! Oh yeah, we cruising now. We Chevy cruising. Oh, that was close. Because I just landed on what would have been, like, where a freaking uh, thwomp would have landed, but... Ooh, that was close, too, with the green shell. Ah, oh, I got booed. Not not like I usually do when the crowd gives me a good booing. Ah, oh, jeez, alright. Sometimes that, that landing there can be rather rough. How did I miss... How did all those fireballs miss me? Alright, I'll take it. Fireballs. Ow. All right, I take it all back. I'm not, I'm not doing as well as I thought here. I think that bomb can cause a little chaos blur while I'm up here. Try my best. Hmm. Come on! Yes! Get it! Get it! Do what you're getting it. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't enjoy it as much. I do wish it like let you switch which item you want to have your your main item be. Because, like, sometimes there's an item that makes more sense. Like, right now, I'm just stuck with these three green shells until I get rid of them. Like, if, say, I get, like, a fireball or something, I can't, like, switch to that if I want to. Oh, that might cost me down the road. Whoa! Shit, shit, shit! Oh, God! That was a mistake. Alright, well... Didn't end like how I wanted it to, but it's still something, I guess. Ah, oh, yeah. Caught the Mountain Dew Classic tonight. Feels like a classic type of night. I can't. I don't know what I mean by that, but you know, it's just a nice summer night. Got a summer type of party to DJ tomorrow. But that—that's you know not right now. Oh, there it is, Waluigi Pinball. Let's go. Let's go, Waluigi Pinball. Yes, vote it, vote it, vote it. I do enjoy voting for freaking Waluigi Pinball. 
I love Waluigi Pinball. Now, I see New York Minutes also got some votes. Either way, those are both new courses. And, I mean, Waluigi Pinball, to me, was a no-brainer from the start. They should have just had it in the base game. But anyone who's played uh, Mario Kart DS knows what that course is all about, and I freaking love it. I know it's just a really simple gimmick. You know, it's not even that long of a course. But you know what? No, no, it's a great course. What am I doing talking down one of my favorite courses? Now, let's see if it gets voted now. Because it's not a sure thing. Yeah, but it is now, because it just won, yo. All right, all right. Again, thank you all for watching tonight. Exciting day, exciting night here for Chaos Blur, Bobby Gaines. Thanks for watching some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, with new courses to check out, and new things to do. It's not that I dislike the original courses, like, they're fine, but I've just been playing this game for so long, like, even... If it is just like, well, technically 16, but eight, eight new courses. Like, I want to see those more. I don't want to keep seeing the same Rainbow Road and the same old thing again and again. Plus, this course looks so beautiful. They did such a great job with this, in all honesty. Yeah, I know Randy couldn't take the excitement, but he's missing a good one right now. I do wonder, well, you know what? I don't even care. I don't care what the other courses are. Like I said, I predict in December they'll have another wave, and they may even make their own Christmas course. That's just my prediction. They may not. They might just make, like, a winter course, but it's all good. Oh, I just remembered how much I actually love freaking Mario Kart DS. Okay, which actually was featured in an episode of Retro Request, or Retromania, as it were. Episode 43, I just happened to remember that, because I've been doing a lot of rewatching the old retros, and preparation of Retromania 50, which of course isn't until September, but I'd like to get my head start on. If there's anything you guys enjoy seeing from my channel, I always look forward to hearing from you. Again, this is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur, featuring the Chaos Cam, which is not something I plan to do every time, but at least for the time being, it seems to be doing all right, so I'm going to stick with it. Hey, oh. All right. Yeah. Fifth place again. I guess it, as long as I can stay competitive for most of the race, because, you know, anything could happen that last lap. So as long as I'm not, like, in 10th place going into the end, like, this is not, like, a death sentence. Like, I'm not, okay, now it's a death sentence. Like, now, now it's a death sentence. Never mind. That's a death paragraph right there. Come on. Ah, oh, everybody took my items. Okay, good. I'm glad some of you got walloped by that, because you really had it coming. Oh, ho, 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 I had it coming that time. Hey, oh. Okay, so this is what I didn't want. Because even though I know random things can happen, going from 10th place to even close to 1st place, that's going to be tricky. If I was in 7th place or 6th place even, I'd feel a little bit better. I do not feel so much better now. But we're going to have to make do with what we got. Still a fun course. Still happy to be here. Still love the music. Still love the graphics. Oh, see, I'm getting crap items. That's pretty much what's going to get me back into this, if anything does. It, this might be a lost cause at this point, to be perfectly honest, but, yeah. Okay, well, I should have had, like, fourth or fifth. Seventh's not the best, but... Like I said, it was competitive-ish. That's really all I can ask for at a certain point. I got some points out of it. Not that many, but still something, right? I, I love Waluigi Pinball. I'm so glad they added it. Like, I mean, I'm not usually one of those people that's like, Oh, add this one, add that one. Speaking of which, these are all old courses, so I'm going to go ahead and do random. Baby Park's kind of fun, though. But yeah, I'm not, like, one of those people, especially since... I mean, I've played the Mario Kart games, but I don't remember specific ones. Like, some people are like, add Bowser's Castle 4 from, like, Super Mario Kart. I'm like, I don't fucking remember that one. Like, so, I mean, for the most part, as long as they add fun courses to the game, I really don't care which ones they add. But, I mean, Waluigi Pinball was one of those I specifically remembered. In fact, there's another one from Mario Kart DS, and this one's not as big a deal, but I think it was, like, a pirate ship level or something that had you go, like, up and down a tower. I don't even remember it that well. 
random, and it is a new course, and it's actually a course we played earlier in the stream, which normally I'd be mad about, but again, right now I'm not tired of these courses yet, so if we gotta take a second trip to Snowland, then we take a second trip to friggin' Snowland, why not? Which, as I mentioned, has a very nice Christmassy kind of look to it, otherwise a pretty simple course, but that also means I might have a chance to win it. We'll find out right now. Meantime, Shy Guy there stalled out on the opening uh, tip-off. At least we had Randy here for a short time. I appreciated his very little input, but it was nice while it lasted. Ugh, I always miss the items like at the worst possible times. Ouch. Sure, just throw all the items at me. Why not? I can take it. Ow. Do, 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 do. I think I finished as high as, like, second, so I know it can be done. God, I, you cannot miss items, though, and I keep missing items. That's just, that's unacceptable. Really? Getting hit with a spiny in, like, 10th place? Basically, just keep grabbing items. Like, you know, hopefully you'll get some good ones, but at the very least, just keep getting them. Because otherwise, you know, you don't have any chance if you don't get anything. I mean, even if some of these can get me, like, back in it a little bit. Now there's a bullet pill again. Not much I can do about that. Ow. Happened to get the freaking, uh... Okay. People just get items that just happen to poof into my path, like, as soon as they get them. Oh, I just noticed that. The little ice ramp there. Oh, I didn't realize that was the last lap. Wow, I kind of, like, half-assed it there. I didn't realize it was the last lap. Like, I knew it was getting toward the end of the thing. Alright, well, whatever. Well, Friday Night Mario Kart to get you guys going here. Thanks for watching again. This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Ooh, all right. Well, we've got Choco Mountain. <laughs> it's all right. Next race. I like your attitude, Randy. Next race. Also, welcome back. Yes, always another race. We'll get them next time, right? So, yeah, this time, because there was a Wave 1 DLC course on the ballot, I will go ahead and opt for that. Although, we do have some votes for Toad City or whatever it's called. Actually, another new course that we have not seen yet, well, I've seen it, but another one that hasn't come up yet on the stream is Calamari Desert from the uh, N64 game. You got this. I like to think so. Thank you. I, uh, I do my best. For sure. I mean, I have, I've only finished fourth, like, twice, but let's see what course we get this time. That will heavily determine how things go for me here. Random, and it's Mushroom Gorge, another new course. So we are lucking out on these right now. Mushroom Gorge, I love this course, actually. Maybe love is a bit of a strong word, but I have to say, actually, Mario Kart Wii, the game on the Wii, was actually a really good game. Like, they had some really cool, creative courses in that game. Uh, Mushroom Gorge, Coconut Mall, which is also in this game. There's, like, a Maple Leafway, I think. A lot of, like, really cool rural stuff. Also, like, a factory level, like Mushroom Factory. I guess I do know more courses than I ever thought. But anyway. Let's get back in the game here. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. It just means I know the course. But then again, some of the people playing this. The people who play this are also, like, experts. So you got to remember that. It's not like I'm going up against scrubs here.
what Mario Kart game is. You know, <laughs> as much as I give this game crap, this probably is the best Mario Kart game because they, they, they just have everything. And the, the, con the amount of content in this game is absurd. And it also does a great job, like, with just the legacy of the Mario Kart series. There's just so many new things, old things that just work together here. The physics are the best. I mean, it's, it's hard to go against Mario Kart 8. As much as I make fun of them for always pushing this game, like, there's a reason why they do. There's a reason why this game has sold probably 100 million copies between everybody. It's just ridiculous. And they've kept it going for at least another year and a half, two years now, with all these new courses they're going to put out. So I, I can't deny it. I mean, maybe the next one will be the best, but for right now, it's this one. Uh, and there's been some really good ones. Uh, Mario Kart DS was a fun game. Mario Kart Double Dash. I mean, they haven't all been gems. Mario Kart 7, I thought, had some good courses, but it wasn't overall, like, the best one. Mario Kart Wii, I actually think, is a bit underrated because it came out on the Wii kind of at a time when people were playing other things. But, wow, how did I get... I just got, like, overtaken there like crazy. Now, there is no Mario Kart 9 at the moment. Hopefully soon. Hopefully someday. Um, but, yeah, no, no 9 now. We keep waiting for it. There is, like, a mobile game that's, like, Mario Kart Tour. A lot of people call that Mario Kart 9 just because it's, I guess, the ninth one. But, not really. Alright, so we got another chance here. No new courses. So we're going to do random. See what we can get. I feel like everybody's just voting like me now. Like, people aren't even, like, voting unless it's, uh... A situation like, uh, yeah, like this. Although TikTok clock's getting some votes. <laughs> it's okay, next race. I like your attitude. You know, you just got to wipe yourself off. <laughs> just like the Red Sox, you know, you lose, you get your butt kicked, you get back out there the next day, and hopefully you don't get your butt kicked again. <laughs> but it's the Red Sox, so maybe you will. Good game. Yeah, for you, maybe. All right, all right. The Red Sox need to win more. Well, that would be helpful, especially to get into the playoffs. All right, tick-tock clock it is. We cannot, uh, cannot escape the legacy tracks. And this is a good track. Oh, this is also from Mario Kart DS. I gotta say, even the, the courses that were in this game were already like 60% from older games. But I mean, I guess when you got the tracks, you may as well use them. Mario. Oh, God, no. You know my favorite Sonic. What are you talking about? Freaking Chaos Blur over here, man. I mean, I, I love a lot of the old 90s platformers, but you know, Sonic the Hedgehog is the reason I got into video games. I love the movies. I love the games, the comics, yeah, all of it, really. Sonic as a character is just, you know, amazing. Mario's okay, but Mario, to me, plays it safe. You know, like, Mario, you're not going to get a bad thing for Mario. It's always going to be, like, a pretty good... Pretty good experience, but, you know, Sonic just goes above and beyond, at, for the most part, in this game. Oh, in this game? Eh, probably not, actually. I'm playing as Lebby right now, this guy with the rainbow hair. I, I kind of like the Koopalings. They just have that kind of crazy, like, look you want, like, a racer to have. Like, I mean, Mario's okay. Again, he plays it safe. He's a good all-around racer. I don't know if he's my favorite, but... Again, it kind of, in this game, it almost doesn't matter because they have all the different cars you can equip. So, like, even the slowest guy can be the fastest if you get the right car. Like, you get Bowser souped up with some, like, big, like, freaking motorcycle or something to kind of even it out. I, I prefer the cars myself, the cars, the ATVs. I don't really like the bikes. They have bikes in this game, like motorcycles. and they're, they're, They sound cool, but they're really tough to drift around corners. They can be faster if you know what you're doing, but I'll take the cars. Just fine. That's just me, though. Your, your mileage may vary. You play? I do not play Fall Guys. I hear that's one of those games that everybody gets into. I don't know why, but why not? Yeah, they can they can enjoy it just like Fortnite and what's that other one? Among Us. All these games that keep coming out every now and then. What the heck was that? It's a freaking the TikTok clock thing. Oh, we eating people. Oh, we not eating anybody. All right. Cool. 
It's like the first time I've gotten this power up and it's kind of like screwed me more than helped me. It's usually a pretty good little power up. Somehow I ended up in eighth place. I was in fourth place before the power up. Now I get the power up and I'm freaking not in that great a place here. Okay, cool. Fifth. Yeah, right, well, it's all right, I guess. I feel like I would have been better off just not even using that power up. There. <sighs> well, it is what it is. There. Oh, uh, we got my friend Plank Luigi playing a little Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, we got Coconut Mall. I'll take Coconut Mall. It's a fun little course. Next race. Yeah, you're gonna be saying that a lot, man. Oh, we got this guy here with the yellow hair, freaking like Super Saiyan stuff going on. Coconut Mall. Oh, good. Super Saiyan voted for Coconut Mall. I like him already. Uh, we'll see which course wins right now. All right. <laughs> Got more people coming. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright. He looks so happy, that Super Saiyan guy. Oh, two votes from Mount Wario. I forgot that was even a choice. Alright, let's see what we got. Anything can happen with this random roulette. Coconut Mall it is, though. Good choice, people. Favorite snacks, like in general? I mean, there's so many snacks. You got freaking uh, Bugles. I actually had Doritos Puff the other day. They're like the 3D Doritos. Not as good as regular Doritos, but not bad. Now, I got to go with, like, Bugles, um, Doritos... Uh, ruffles. The freaking ruffles with the ridges and the, the works. I don't know if they still make that, but. Ouch. Gotta say, I don't know, like, when they updated the game, if they made the colors brighter, but it seems like this game is, like, brighter than it's ever been. Like, it's, it's a really nice looking game, but. Almost like too much on the eyes after a certain point. This mall, no, this is just a coconut mall. This is a made-up mall. In fact, there it is right there. Coconut Mall. Of course, it would be located on Delfino Island. Thank you, Boo, stealing me that. Got to try and get on the elevators or the escalators while they're uh, running the right way. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Jingle All the Way, though, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he's, he's trying to get the Turbo Man doll, but there's a there's a mall scene in that movie, and that is, in fact, Mall of America. It's filmed in um, uh, Minnesota, which is actually where the movie is supposed to be based. So, of course, he goes to the biggest mall in the country, Mall of America, to try to find Turbo Man. And if anyone who's seen the movie will know he is not very successful in doing so. Well, it's a great 90s movie. It's just a great movie, like, in general. Like, And, yeah, it's got its really lame parts, but it, it just, it's a, it's actually aged well, I think. Some people would argue with that, but I think it just, it's one of those movies that was lame when it first came out, so it's still lame now. It's not like it was beloved, and now it's just, it just looks bad. Like, it still looks the same way it always looked, which is lame, but we liked it when it was lame. So it's like you appreciate it more now because they just they don't make movies like that anymore like i mean they make christmas movies but like just a movie with so much of that just commercialism capitalism everyone killing each other for a toy like you don't even see that anymore because of the online thing and stuff like it's just it's got a lot of stuff that you'll just never see again like they could make a movie i guess in fact they kind of did with um Neil Patrick Harris, like, 8-Bit Christmas, where they kind of go back to the 80s and try to represent that time. But it's still, it's not as good as actually growing up in the 80s, at least I wouldn't think, because I didn't, I was actually um, born in 88, so I didn't grow up in the 80s, but I grew up in the 90s, so. Stuff like Mall Rats or um, Jingle All the Way, a lot of movies remind me of the 90s. Uh, we're going to go New York Minute here. 
in New York Minute. I love how everybody just flocks to the new courses. Like, there's just, like, not even any hesitation. Look at that. Because even the other one there, uh, Mario Circuit 3 or whatever it's called, that's also from um, the, the last wave of DLC. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's wait for more players. Let's not. Let's not wait. Because we already have the most players. Yeah, we can only have 12 players. And tell me we got to wait for more players. So the game. All right, here we go. Another new course we haven't seen yet. It's New York Minute. It takes place in New York City. That's right, you guessed it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, I actually really like this course, and there are a lot of city type of courses in this game, so it might seem a little bit redundant, but it actually does a good job of representing New York while also having that Mario touch to it. it has you going through all the different areas like Central Park and just different little metropolitan areas. They change every course, so they change every lap, the stuff you see. Of course, you got traffic like you'd have in the real New York. Actually, one of the reasons why I really like the Hawkeye series is just how much they use that New York set piece for some really cool moments. Uh, Hawkeye, probably my favorite uh, MCU series that was on Disney+. Plus. I just can't believe I'm saying that because Hawkeye's not even my favorite Avenger. All right, here we go. Oh, God. All right. Dodge those fireballs. Dodge those fireballs. Oh, man. Got a real heat wave going on here. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Whoa, okay. I oh, watched that sewage there. Ah, I think about it. And I guess they kind of incorporated it here, but I'm surprised there's not like a Mario Odyssey level now since so much time has gone by since that game. You know, Mario Odyssey, like New Donk City course where you're going through that game. But then again, this kind of is like New Donk City. It's New Donk City, which is Mario's New York City. Ow. All right, we're once again back to wondering where we went wrong, despite not really doing anything good or bad. This just kind of happened this way. But what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, this is cool, too. You get to go through, like, Broadway or whatever this is supposed to be. Then you get back in the city, kind of. And then everybody overtakes me, even though I didn't do anything. Ah, another, yet another disappointing failure. And we lost Randy. Well, he's not missing much. Yeah, that race only took about a New York minute, though. There. Music Park. All right, so we got no new courses here. Music Park's not a bad one, but... Let's see what else they got, you know? What else you got? Well, we got some random ones. We also have the desert stage ready to go. Uh, oh, yeah. Life. Now that we have the chaos cam on, we can really see... Every detail of my yawn, because that, that's really what's enhancing the stream here. Not the gameplay, but the yawning. All right, Music Park. And a pretty good course, uh, 3DS. Sometimes I forget which one of these are new for the for Mario Kart 8. Which ones are in... Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, that's how I make the horn go off. All right, let's look at that. Whee! God damn.
Ooh, that was close. Watch out. Say, I'm not even in first place, and that thing was a bit of a threat to me. Hey, oh. Nice jump, but I missed an item. Which, at the end of the day, who needs skills when you got items? If I learned anything from Mario Kart, it's generally that. Yeah, because now all these people are going to pass me, even though I didn't really do anything wrong, but, eh, whatever, I existed. That's, that, that's sufficient. Ah! Oh. Then you finally get, like, a decent array of items, and then you lose them just like that. Frustrating, isn't it? There's a bomb up ahead. If you want to avoid that, if you can. Get an item, because that is so important if you can get an item. Otherwise, you might not even, may as well not even be playing the game if you don't have an item. You may as well just be off playing freaking Halo or something. I don't know. Woo, nice little jump. Ow. Oh, boy. Got a lot going on here. Come on. Whatever's going to happen here, I don't know how I got in the sixth place, but I will almost take that as a victory at this point. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense, but... Yet, here we are. Sixth place all the same. And, you know, you finish sixth place in that way. It's obviously, it's not great, but could have been a lot worse. Just kind of minimizing the damage at this point. All right, we got Tokyo Blur and Chaco Mountain. Both are courses from the new wave. Or one of the new waves. I still consider it a new wave. I mean, they're only a couple months old compared to courses that are four or five or eight years old. I think I'll take the ones that are a couple months old. So we got Chaco Mountain, Tokyo Blur. And actually, people are pretty split on this because we also have some randoms in here. So let's see what wins right now. Here we go. And it will indeed be Tokyo Blur being played tonight by Chaos Blur. Hey, freaking out. All right. Well, let's see what we can get done here. Hey, oh. Blur out. Oh, whoa. Hey, oh, oh, God. Every time I evade a freaking red shell, there's just another one a foot away. I guess that's about as fair as that's going to get. But we'll see right after this. Some good Tokyo Blur in here, and we get hit with a shell. Why not? I knew I was doing too well. We can't have me do well. Nope, nope, nope. Can't happen. Impossible. We must do bad at every possible turn we take. This wouldn't be a Mario game without that. 11th place somehow. Why not? Again, was, was doing way too well. Uh, why did that just come up on my screen? Is that, is that a new power-up to screw me over now? Fucking eighth place. What a joke. If that's a joke, I'm not laughing. hey -o. I mean, I enjoy a good laugh now and then, but not like that. 
Not like that. Holy gripe. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Oh, Excite Bike Arena. That takes precedence. Yeah, actually, we got another split vote here. Ribbon Road's pretty good, too, but Excite Bike Arena, I always go with Excite Bike Arena. That's the only thing I would go against anything with. But it's like split again, almost right down the middle here. We got people voting for Snowland. One vote for Ribbon Road. Watch it end up being Ribbon Road. I'm going to laugh if it ends up being Ribbon Road. But yeah, we got Excite Bike Arena. We got Iceland or Snowland, whatever the heck it's called. And then we got um, Ribbon Road as the kind of dark horse candidate in here. So here we go. Let's see what wins. And it is indeed Snowland. This will be my third time playing it on this stream, and we are not even an hour in. I mean, it is a fun course. I just hope it doesn't come up this often, but whatever. I'm a good sport about it. At least it's not Super Nintendo Rainbow Road for the eighth time. That used to be a popular one. Probably still is if it ever came out in the rotation. Here we go. I saw that coming. Oh. oh. It's like I would rather just start bad now. So at least then I can try to build myself up the rest of the race. If, I, if I'm like th at this point and it's like the last lap, I may as well just give up. Like here, there's still time to get back into it. People are going to knock each other off. There's going to be all kinds of weird stuff happening. So you don't know what could happen. Well, I just said what's going to happen. A bunch of weird stuff. But still, you don't know to what degree that weird stuff could happen. If at all. <laughs> I tried so desperately to go around that banana peel that I may as well just hit it. All the crazy zigs and zags I took there. So my only other item is a mushroom. I'm not really crazy about that. Right, what are you going to do? Wow. Ouch. All right. And we're back in the last. So what little progress I made just wiped out right there. Cool. Too cool for school. The Bobby Gaines story. Okay, that's my shortcut. Kind of. You like that one? I didn't. Da 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 da. I actually made up some space. Never mind. God forbid I actually finish in 11th place. Wouldn't want that to happen. Wouldn't want me to taste the sweet, sweet success of second to last place. Oh, God, no. Can't have that. Cannot, will not have that. Impossible, I say. Oh, can I pick up a spot here? Let's see. Probably not. But we'll see. 11th place. Woo, we made it, boys. What a game. What a game. Hey -o, hey -o, hey -o. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Thank you for joining me here on this Friday evening with some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The new courses, indeed. We've seen Snowland a staggering three times now. And I'm going to go random on this because I'm not a big fan of this selection. In fact, I feel like this selection is like a very common one where it's like either Yoshi's Island or the Sweet Mountain or freaking Toad Harbor. So let's see which one we end up getting stuck with here. Could be a random one. Could bail us out. And it will be a random one. It'll be Wario Stadium instead. Not a bad pick. Not ideal, but not a bad pick. Oh, that was from the DS version. Yeah, the DS had some good courses, I gotta say. I always like this one. Yeah, it does seem like they toned up the graphics all around. This one looks really great as well. We'll find out how great right now. It's so, uh, so important to get items, and I, like, miss them almost every time. Ouch! Okay, got slammed into there, and just like that, the progress is over. Enjoy winning, you won't be doing a lot of it. 
avoid getting hit with flames, you probably will be doing a lot of that. Ow. Alright, well, that's something. Let's say, just give me a freaking, like... Give me a chance. I'm not saying I gotta win, but just give me a chance. Make me feel like I have a chance to win it. Like, anything. Watch out. God, no, 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 no. I'll take second, but I was not, I was holding on to that. I was not going to get, like, blasted down to seventh place or something. Yeah, I freaking earned that one. I don't care. It was tough. It, it could have been first, but you know what? As far as I'm concerned, that's the best I'm going to do. Too bad nobody was here to see it, but that was actually a really good finish. That was a really good finish. I'm going to go ahead and do Paris Promenade, or at least try to. Uh, that was incredible, actually. Uh, could have been a little bit better. I, I did get sniped there at the very end to get out of first place, but I was so worried about that. Because that's one of those things where you get hit once, you fall into second place, and the next thing you know you're in 11th place and you're going, how'd this happen? So that, that's how competitive this can get. So I'm, I'm not expecting to probably do any better than that the rest of the night. Uh, as it is, I'm not even sure how much longer I'm going to keep streaming. But even if I did stream for longer, um, I don't see me doing better than that in terms of just close finishes. Now, I mean, I'm going to keep competing, but we'll see how it goes. Right now, we, we do in Paris here. we got a whole worldwide tour episode going on. From the makers of Ratatouille, it's Mariui, and I'm in 12th place already. Whee! Pretty! It's alright looking. I actually didn't know you could go this way. Doesn't seem to really be much of a shortcut, though. Still end up on this other side of the roundabout. And somehow I missed all of that. Oh my god, this is so bad. I'm just so bad at this game. It's just, it's like, it's just, I know I'm not going to be good. I'm not going to be dominating everybody. But like, at least make it fun. Make it competitive. People don't want to watch somebody be in 12th place every single time. I mean, numbers bear that out, but still. Like, I feel like I have no chance to even catch up. And even if I do, I'm just going to get blitzed out of it. Uh, like, that was a little bit of a shot in the arm, but not going to ultimately do much. Uh, 
All right, that was interesting. Somehow doing all that, like, knocked me out by, like, four places. Okay, why not? A nice item to get. Not so much of a nice return, though. And I'm still in 11th place, if anyone missed it. My favorite, 11th freaking place. Actually, 7th's not bad, considering how bad I was doing most of it. It's not how I want to finish, but it's something. You gotta say, it's something. Not not amazing, but it's it's something. Eh, yeah, whatever. What are you gonna do about that? Not much you can do. That was just how it was. Excite Bike Arena again, but unfortunately we got two Rainbow Roads. Ooh, it's coming down to the wire here. Come on, Excite Bike Arena. I want to try and get that in at least once tonight. But they put it up against two freaking Rainbow Roads. I'll give it my best shot. Why not? I think that Wario Stadium race we saw earlier is probably going to be the best one. I just had so much energy into it. I was invested. It felt fair, you know. Even though I got blitzed at the end, it still felt pretty fair. Like I didn't feel cheated. Worked out all right, I'd say. All right, so we got about a half, maybe a little more than half chance of seeing Excite Bike here. Hey, Excite Bike, it's gonna be. Let's rev those engines up. It's just a shame Bex won't be here to see it, but that's all right. I'll dedicate this one to her, or wherever she might be. Well, she used to be like trying to be house, but anyhow, that's a that's a rock here. Let's see what we can do. the worst luck with the item boxes. I really do. You know, time to take those jumps and hope for the best. What else can I really do? I'm trying to see a good number of the new courses. I'm trying to think of what haven't we seen. We haven't seen uh, the Sydney Spirit one, and we have not seen, um, what is it, Calamari Desert. I think other than that, we've seen, I want to say all of them, maybe not. Oh, we haven't seen the Mario Circuit. I thought we did, but I, well, maybe we did. I don't even fucking remember. We've seen Snowland three times. We saw the Sunday one once, which is a really good one. And we saw Waluigi Pinball, so we're in good shape there. Oh, I did not mean to use that. that I mean, yeah, it worked in my favor for now, but... <laughs> They're all behind me. I can see it. So as soon as I make one mistake or get hit by one thing, I'm going to lose, like, 20 places. I got a coin as one of my items, the most useless thing I can have. Come on. All right, I got the double item, which is valuable, but how valuable is it really going to be? I actually ended up being all right in that case. This has the chance to be useful, but I have to time it, like, just right. And I did. Still want some items, though. Really? All right, you know what? Second place somehow. I feel like my items were, like, rigged there, though. Like, besides the fact that I wasn't getting any good ones, like, my, what do you call it? Like, the roulette took forever. It was like, and then finally it would give me an item. But, like, everyone else was getting their items, like, 
super quick. All right. Hmm. Not a very good loadout here either. I will reluctantly vote for Choco Mountain, but we'll see what the audience says. And that, of course, will determine what we play here. Much like Retromania, which is a great interactive stream by yours truly, Chaos Blur. Hope to see you all there next Wednesday afternoon around 2 p.m. Uh, we are going to have such a fun time with Retromania 49. Counting down to Retromania 50. Uh, a lot of great streams coming up for the rest of the year, but especially Retromania 50. Uh, that's in September. But Retromania 49 coming later this month. Next week, to be precise. But uh, right now we got a little Friday night Mario Kart action for you. Thank you so much for watching tonight, everybody. As we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. And we are going to see which of these decent courses we're going to race on. I wouldn't say they're all amazing, but they're okay. Let's find out which one wins right now. Random, and it is Dragon Hideaways. That worked out. Or Ninja Hideaway, right? Yeah, Ninja Hideaway. Some, something Hideaway. Some kind of thing you hide in. Let's find out how we do on this one right now. Okay. This one's pretty iffy. I've had some pretty ridiculous things happen to me on this course before. Some of them my fault, some of them... I don't know. Definitely a challenging game that people play a lot more often than I do because they, they come up with all these like neat little tricks and stuff that I would never would have thought of. Ow. Or sometimes it's just that. So, sometimes you just suck. Sometimes you, you can blame it on any number of things, but sometimes it just comes down to the fact that you just suck. Like, yeah, like that. Like, that just sucked. I can blame all the fluky stuff I want, but that, that was just me sucking it. Oh, come on. Get my double item. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Why not? Someone's got to take it. I took it. Come on. Let's go. Maybe not. I don't know. Seventh place. Right in the middle there. Yeah, my item roulette is definitely taking forever to pick an item. Two of those things behind me. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, that was the difference between fifth and seventh place, too. Okay, I didn't even know you could hit those. All right, well, that's that's something, right? Why not, I guess? It's been that kind of day. Here we go. It's a me, Mario. doing too bad i'm not doing great but here we go lap three this is the one that makes it or breaks it usually breaks it okay here we go ouch okay 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 yeah, that made a lot of freaking sense. Alright, I guess we're taking this lower route right now. Because why not? Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna die right there because why not? I was going to say, now I'm going to just waste all my freaking fireballs. I got nothing to lose here. Jeez. Somehow I still got a plus four from that. That was, like, pitiful, but all right. Got a plus four out of it. Somehow. Ew. What do we got? Tokyo Blur again, which I already did. I mean, I guess I'll do it again if I have to, but... Would have preferred something new, but we're not getting the new ones coming up in many rotations now. Unless they're hidden behind random blocks. Which they might be. You never know. Hey. 
All right, let's get it going here. Random, and it is inverted Sunday, whatever it's called. Sky High Sunday, mirror mode. All right. That would kind of come full circle here since we started with the uh, Sky High Sunday, or in this case, Sunday Sky High, since we're going reversed. So this will be interesting. Not completely familiar with this course yet. I do really like this aesthetic, though. It is very nice. But is it nice enough to keep me racing? We'll find out right now. All right, time to die. The answer to that one is probably not. Probably not going to give me any kind of advantage. But this is still a phenomenal course. I do like this. I, I want to see more like this. If they do more like new ones. It doesn't have to be made of candy, obviously. But just like more more new themes. Like nice colors. Like this, this course is just very vibrant. Very fun. That's what I like in games. Woohoo! Come on now! Oh, that was pretty fun, actually. Nice first lap. Ooh, oh! Oh, 10th place. Oh, that one's going to leave a mark. A 10th place size mark in my heart. The kind you never truly get over. You tell people you do, but it's still there. It's still burning at you. Hey, I got an 8! I almost never get these. Ow, okay, apparently the 8 screwed me over somehow. Lovely. Bullet Bill, I'll take it. I'll be proud of it, but I'll take it. Alright. Still anybody's race. This turn coming up here, though, I gotta not miss this turn, because this has screwed me over both times. And it is such a tight turn, I can absolutely see why it messes people up. There's a bullet bill gaining on me, too. Holy crap, I got a spiny in frickin' third place? What? Shit, 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 shit. Shit, go, 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 go! Damn! Oh, I mean, fifth isn't the worst, but damn! I was in that till the very end. Oh my god, that was that was awesome, actually. You know, I know I finished fifth, and you know I'm gonna complain about it, but no, that was legitimately fun. Like that was that was intense. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Oh, we got Calamari Desert. That's one of the new ones. In fact, that might be one of the only new ones we haven't seen. So it might be fitting if we close it out with this one. We'll find out if we do right now. Chances are pretty good that we do. Although we got a couple votes there for the uh, Ninja Hideaway yet again. Which we literally just played the course before the last one. Oh my god. We're going to play freaking Ninja Hideaway again. Hey, it's a nice course, but come on. Yeah, I feel like Ninja Hideaway is also a new one. I could be wrong. It feels like it's a new one. Like, new to this game. Not as new now, but still. Alright, well, let's get it going, I guess. Oh, I keep slipping there. It's just like the freaking little corner of the freaking... Yeah, I can't talk now. 
I'm a little frustrated, to be honest, that I gotta play this course for like the second time in three races. Like, I mean, at least with the uh, Snowland, I played it three times, but it was like maybe three times in 20 races. Like, I, I still got to do other stuff. This is literally the second time. I was just playing this like five minutes ago. Like, this course is not, I mean, it's good, but it's not that good that I want to keep playing it. Well, I'm surprised anyone voted for it, but then again, it did get a pretty low percentage of the vote. Happened to win out because Mario Kart rules, I guess. It's actually one of the few times I used that strategically. Like you're supposed to. It actually wasn't dumb luck that time. But it matters, because something dumb luck will happen. And you will be asking yourself, what could I have done to prevent that? The answer will be nothing. Yeah, what could I... Nothing. What could I have done to prevent it? Anyone watching this, tell me what I could have done to prevent that. Well, rewind that back for me. Tell me what I did wrong. Spoilers, it's nothing. Tell me what I could have done to prevent that. Answer, nothing. Y'all making my point. Like, no sooner do I, like, praise this game, it's like, well, good, good bit of strategy, and it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, we all play it. We all play Mario Kart. We don't know why we play it. But we play it. We know going in, it, stuff like this is going to happen. We know it. And yet we still play it. We take it so seriously, too. We really do. And, and yet we say we're never going to play it again. And next week, here we are. Back at the racetrack. Going to win back what I lost. Yeah, we're going to fall right in a ditch. At least that one I could say was my mistake. I mean, there's, there's plenty. That's the frustrating thing. Is there's plenty of ways to make mistakes in this game and have it be legitimate. But then throw into that the random bombardment of things, missiles flying out of nowhere. It's like, what the heck? But anyway. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs> that was super fun. Um, yeah. But, yeah. I think that's going to do it for me here tonight. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, as always, a uh, little Mario Kart 8 action here on this Friday night. Thank you so much for joining me here. We didn't get to see all the new courses, but we got to see a good amount of them, and that's, uh, that's what matters. And as always, you can expect some new, fresh, fun content from yours truly, Chaos Blur, like I've said before. I'll say it again, we got Retromania 49 coming next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Hopefully we're going to see you all there. But uh, for what it's worth, I was very happy to see you all here for tonight's stream as we took a look at the Wave 2 DLC courses. Of course, I stream Mario Kart a lot, so it's possible we see it again. But anyway, as always, stay chaotic. Blur out. This is Bobby Gaines here, otherwise known as Chaos Blur, and if you love retro gaming as much as I do, then you'll love my new 2022 series, Retro Mania. Retro Mania looks to be a series of engaging and interactive streams in which you, the viewers, get to pick what I play next. Let's get retroactive.